guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial using the Zoeva Cocoa Blend eyeshadow palette that I recently purchased and I am obsessed with it. The colours are so pigmented and just so vibrant and to be honest the camera didn't do it justice but trust me when I say that this eyeshadow palette is so so good. So I'm first going to moisturise my skin as always. You guys know the drill. I use my Garnier Moisture Match to hydrate my skin and it's just my most favourite cream ever and it just helps your skin, your makeup apply seamlessly. I'm just going to hydrate my lips as well using some Vaseline. It was just the closest thing that was there to me. And then to prime my face, I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, which I love at the moment. It really hydrates your skin and refreshes it. And I just love spraying things on my face. I don't know why. Um, and I'm also going to apply some of the Photo Finish Primer, the actual one, around on my smile lines and around my nose area, just to make sure that nothing sinks into my pores and lines and stuff. Um, here I'm colour correcting um, around my mouth where I have more pigmentation which is so annoying but I try to warm that area up so that when I put my foundation on it kind of camouflages that dark bit, dark bit by correcting it, if you guys get me. <laughs> um, I do have a video on it um, on colour correcting so I'll link that in the info box. For my foundation I'm using the Nashi Glow which is such a good foundation I'm so happy that I have this now finally and um, it just makes your skin look amazing I then went in and did my brows off camera and here I'm applying a base on my eyelids I'm using the number seven concealer trio but I'm using the darkest shade in the trio to basically act as a canvas and here you can see I'm like obsessed and like mesmerized by the shades in this palette but um, I'm first going to apply this Kind of like copper brown shade it's a matte shade um i, I put across where the shade is that i'm using um and i'm really packing this on the outer corner of my eye and on the crease as well i'm using a kind of like large fluffy brush to do this then i'm using this like really really nice vibrant fuchsia shade i would say and i'm applying this all over the eyelid and then taking a very shimmery beigey shade and I'm highlighting my inner corner I just love the shades I'm obsessed from this palette like literally um, and then here I'm using this kind of black eyeshadow but it's got purple tones in it I think but I just think it looked really good with this fuchsia shade so I'm applying this on the outer corner and I'm just making sure to really blend it and soften the edges out with the first copper brown shade as well and yeah. Then use that matte white eyeshadow from the palette to highlight my brow bone but I did not expect it to be so pigmented. I've never seen a light eyeshadow like this one look so pigmented on my skin tone but there you go that just proves how good this eyeshadow palette is. Um, I'm curling my eyelashes as always and then I'm using the number 7 dramatic lift uh, mascara in black and I'm just applying a bunch of mascara on it. <laughs> And I also did apply some falsies. I mean, I used the Ardell Demi Wispies, and I just quickly applied that. Then for concealer, I used the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm in the shade Medium Dark Warm, and I need to get a second one of this because I cannot live without this anymore. It just does not crease at all. <laughs> um, and then I went in with my Ultra Contour Palette to set that in. I used the Matte Yellow Powder shade. And I'm just using my original, original foundation brush that I used to blend out my concealer. I'm not using the Beauty Blender for once because I just think <laughs> I'm always using it so I just wanted to change it up a bit. Here I'm like um, applying some of that brown copper shade on my lower lash line. Just to hide the lash glue and the strip of the falsies, I'm using my Maybelline Master Ink Eyeliner. It, this one's the matte one, just to line my upper lash line. I'm not doing a wing or anything. And I also went in and applied some mascara on my lower lashes as well. Oh, 
I then bronze well kind of contoured my cheekbones with this greyish tone I um powder from the palette oh my gosh I can't speak when I do voiceovers um and then I went on top with the dark brown matte shade and bronzed up my face just to add some color because the concealer did kind of pale me out a bit and then I'm using my Sephora Blush Me, which I just absolutely love, and I'm just adding some more warmth to my face as well. And it's going to got like a bit of shimmer in it, so I really like that as well. And here I am packing some highlight on, literally, I love this highlight. This is the Makeup Revolution Radiant Lighting Glow, and I'm just really, really packing that on. <laughs> I then applied some lip liner, I couldn't find a picture for this lip liner but it's the LA Colors lip liner in cappuccino and then I went in with a freedom lipstick called, um, in the shade 119. I do have all these shades for this line of lipstick but I'm just, I just need to find time to film a lip swatch video. <laughs> and I also set the lipstick in with some powder, I used my powder for my Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and it just mattified the lipstick. And I set everything with my primer water again and that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure also to let me know what you'd like to see next and yeah I love you guys all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.